This movie is a short introduction to Tinkerplots, a data analysis and simulation tool developed for classroom use by young students. Tinkerplots helps them to see trends and patterns in data and to make graphs and reports to present their findings. You can enter your own data into Tinkerplots, but it also comes with sample data sets. These are data about 24 cats. Each cat is represented by an icon in this plot window. When I click on an icon, I see its data here in a data card. So this is Mittens, a female cat that is 14 years old. The next card belongs to Peebles, a female cat who is 5 years old. Let's click on one of the attributes, such as gender. When I do this, the male and female cats appear as two different colors in the plot. This button brings up the color key, which shows that the females are purple and the males are yellow. Let's click on one of the numerical attributes, such as age. Now I see a color gradient where the older a cat is, the pinker its icon. Clicking on one of the darker icons, we see it's Alexander, a male cat that is 18 years old. Right now, the cats are randomly arranged in the plot window. Clicking down here on the mix-up button sends them running into a new random arrangement. Let's see how much the cats weigh. I'll select the weight attribute. When I click on this order button, the icons order themselves by weight, with the heavier cats towards the right of the plot and the lighter ones to the left. Click that button again to turn order off. Clicking on this order button arranges them vertically by weight. I'll turn that off now. This button stacks the icons from left to right. And this one stacks them up and down. I can label the icons with the cat's names by using the Case Label button here. With the icons stacked up, we order them by weight from top to bottom. Let's mix them up again and get our color key. Pulling on one of the icons separates them into two groups, light cats and heavy cats. Pull a little more and we get three groupings. Let's stack them up. I continue to pull them until they become fully separated so that each case icon sits above its value on the axis. Let's replace the weight with the body length. I can do this by dragging body length from the data card and dropping it onto the axis. This distribution is interesting. The data cluster in two different places. Perhaps we have a bunch of older cats who are longer and another group of younger cats who are shorter. To see if that's true, let's color the icons by age. If these longer cats are really older, then we should see a lot more pink over here than over here. But we don't. Maybe the males tend to be longer than females. Let's click on gender. This clump does seem to be mostly males, and this one mostly females. We can separate the males and females by dragging one of the icons up. Click here to see the location of the mean. A reference line is helpful to read off precise values. You can adjust the size of the icons, making them very large or very small. We've showed you enough of Tinkerplots to get you started. Don't be afraid just to try something to see what happens. To return to a previous plot, you can use the undo command in the edit menu.